Hello, dear. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from everywhere. Uh, thank you for having me in this uh, great uh, event and uh, to be part of this uh, session. Yes, allow me to share the screen first. Yes. Allah will be about how to apply uh, uh, renew your uh, MIE effort uh, in mission if you are um, an uh, uh, MIE expert uh, for the year uh, 20, uh, 21, 2022. And I am happy to present my country event. Uh, as you introduced me, uh, I'm a teacher of English with 25 years of experience, certified trainer by the British Council. I have many certificates like the FELT, the TPT, uh, the main capital, the TESOL, uh, and I am a Rio Kaidum certified mentor trainer, my a presenter, a Microsoft Innovative uh, Expert for two years, MIE uh, trainer, Microsoft Certified Educator. I have gained many badges and I have ambassadors for many platforms and tools for uh, Microsoft. Uh, follow me. This is my Facebook uh, uh, account, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn. And of course, uh, the last one, uh, the, uh, my account on uh, Word. First of all, let's talk about uh, uh, how to renew our um, MIE expert and to illuminate for this year. First of all, you have to go to um, Microsoft Learn by typing uh, on your chat box. Um, Microsoft Learn, and uh, this will, uh, if you link, I, I, of course, I will give you this way. And if you link, uh, of, you click on this link, you will go to uh, Microsoft Learn. You have to merge your uh, last account, uh, Microsoft Educator Center, with the new one, uh, Learn, and uh, uh, so that you can see all the courses and the certificates that you have in the in the previous uh, years. I think that Sama is go out. I'm sorry, I was disconnected. So let's go back. Okay, no problem. Yes. Tell me uh, where, where, where did I uh, stop? So first of all, you have to um, you have to Microsoft Learn by clicking on uh, Learn. Uh, on Google, and it will take you to uh, this uh, page. You have uh, to sign in if you haven't signed in before. Uh, you have to sign in with your Microsoft account, of course, and uh, this will bring you to this page. Um, you will see all uh, your courses and uh, the certificates you have, that you have gained uh, before. To uh, be sure, you have to uh, click uh, on your uh, profile picture and click on uh, the word profile. Do you hear me? Uh, I think that Sama disconnected again. No, we wait, please. That's is that okay? 
as I uh, I hear, uh, you will be taken to if you click on the profile uh, icon, you will be taken to this. So you can uh, have this page, okay? And how can we apply? We can apply by clicking on. Uh, Problem technical, technical problems, please. We have patience, not them. You will go to uh, this page. If you click on uh, learn, Sama, we aren't hear you. Repeat, please. Okay. If you want to um, the um, learn link, you will be taken. If you find into the uh, learn link, you will be taken to this page. Uh, click on learn, and then choose the educator center. And the first one educator program and choose the third option IE expert. Do you hear Samar? Yes, hear I'm Samar? here. Yes, okay, I, I, Samar. I hear you. I hear Te you. Oh, okay. Uh, technical problems. Uh, internet, yes? Where have you? Uh, yes, right. But you can uh, continue, please. Okay. Click on uh, learn and uh, educator center, you will uh, choose the, the MIE expert option, educator program, and then choose the third option, MIE expert. You will be taken to this page, okay? The first, the first thing that uh, you have uh, to take care uh, of, uh, it's a program for uh, all people and all the educators, the learners who are passionate about teaching and learning. Uh, it's a, a, a program for um, using technology and how to integrate uh, technology in your lesson plans and classes. Uh, this MIE expert program um, is uh, to the people who uh, teach their students how to use their tools, uh, these tools, or Microsoft tools, and how to impact uh, on their students' life uh, and uh, journey. Uh, be careful that the nomination is opened from uh, May 15 to uh, July uh, 7th. 
okay? First of all, you have to take uh, at least uh, two, uh, two modules or two uh, modules on the Microsoft Learn to be able to uh, apply to uh, this program this year. And you have to click here for self uh, uh, nominate yourself. Once you click, you will be taken to this page. And you will be asked to uh, sign in. Uh, of course, for uh, the uh, current uh, MIE expert, they have to sign with their uh, uh, previous account that they have uh, uh, been nominated or have used in the last year. So for me, I will uh, I have used my work and school account. So I am going to uh, use it uh, for this time. Samar, do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Uh, you will okay. be taking you will be taken to the self nomination hub and you have to be aware that your uh, account and your name is written and you, beside your um, name there is the word registered and of course you will have uh, your um, account uh, id and if you uh, if you want to have uh, to edit any your per, uh, person of any your personal information, if you have changed your work, your email, your uh, address, uh, so you have to uh, edit your personal information and update uh, uh, all the, um, the information that you, uh, you 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 have updated. You have to uh, click here and update it. Once once you have uh, done this you will scroll down to the next part here. Make sure that you have uh, um, your name and beside your name, the word registered not canceled. You have three buttons, uh, view uh, application, uh, renew and uh, cancel program membership. Be, be aware. Please mute yourself, please. Please mute yourself. Um, so um, make sure that uh, you are registered and uh, to renew your um, application, you have to click this button, uh, renew. All these uh, are uh, explained in this way. So here uh, you have the link for the liquid in that you are going to sign uh, in with and uh, uh, as I told you, you have uh, to update uh, your personal information if you have any uh, thing to update um, from um, this icon. And once you have uh, clicked uh, save and submit, all your information will be saved. And then once you click on renew, you have uh, uh, you have started your last uh, uh, stage that you have to complete uh, a long form of questions and submit them and these uh, uh, questions will be submitted by your local team in your country uh, and uh, will be reviewed and you will uh, of course inshallah you will be uh, accepted uh, and uh, an email will be sent to you if you didn't choose uh, renew, uh, 
so your uh, account will be automatically uh, canceled. So you have to renew your application uh, before the time July 7th or your application will be canceled. And inshallah, you will uh, start receiving uh, a new welcome email uh, congratulating you for being MIE expert for the year 22-23. And uh, you, will, uh, be, uh, you will have a badge uh, that you will be awarded. Let's have a look on the questions that you have to answer in this time. Um, they are six questions. As I told you, you uh, these questions will be reviewed by the Microsoft teams in your country. So you have to uh, apply and write them. Uh, and you have to uh, be aware that you have to answer each question between um, uh, 500 character and 2,000 uh, character. Character means letter, not word. So be aware of that. My advice to you is to copy and paste the questions in a Word uh, document and start answering them outside because you have a limited time to answer these questions. Uh, and um, the, um, it, uh, the um, link will be closed, so you have to hurry. So uh, my advice to you is to copy these questions in uh, a Word um, document and apply them. Let's have a look on the questions. The first question says that, how did you share your learning with the educators and school leaders these past year? So in this question, you have to type uh, 500 character minimum and 2000 character maximum, uh, not uh, more, not less than that, as I told you. You have to share what uh, professional development have you update yourself with? Have you taken any courses? Have you shared or spoken at any uh, national or international uh, conferences? Have you uh, did any workshops with your uh, colleagues? Uh, and write all the details and what you have uh, done during this year and what was the impact uh, uh, on your educators and leaders after that. The second question is asking you about what Microsoft tools did you use to collaborate with your colleagues and learners? Describe what value these tools add to you and your colleagues or learners. So here, Microsoft uh, tools, we have many tools like uh, um, uh, Wakelets, like forms, like PowerPoint, like uh, Microsoft Teams. We have many tools, uh, Flipgrid. So choose at least two tools and talk about them. How did you use them during this year with your colleagues? How did uh, you uh, have an impact on uh, them? How did these uh, tools have a, a value? during your uh, learning journey. Let's go to the third question. Is It is telling you my uh, colleagues see me as the go-to person for with Microsoft tools or education, uh, educational topics. So if you see yourself that you are the go-to person for, so when you are uh, very uh, specified in uh, a special tool. Mm, for example, you are uh, you have taken many certificates, or you are professional at Kahoot. So, what what did uh, if any uh, of your colleagues have any problem with Kahoot? They they uh, find you the go to person and go to. Uh, uh, for uh, go to you for, for help and ask you for any problem. So what tools do you see yourself that you are good to, uh, to person? And after that, this will be completed in question number four for uh, the tool uh, and the topic listed. 
uh, about share a story of how you have supported someone in their uh, uh, learning in this area. So if, uh, uh, for example, uh, if any of your uh, friends doesn't know how to use Teams and you supported them uh, how to use Microsoft Teams to make uh, a Zoom meeting, uh, a Teams meeting with their uh, students. So share this story. If someone uh, don't know anything about uh, Flipgrid, so uh, how did uh, you uh, learn them how to use this uh, uh, application or this tool and uh, uh, how they use uh, it with their students and they, it had uh, impact on their students. So share uh, a beautiful story that you supported some one of your colleagues and uh, it was um, perfect for them. The fifth question says, describe how you give back to the Microsoft uh, experts community this uh, past year. So how, what did you give to my, uh, MIE expert community? What did you give? Have you give them, uh, for example, workshops? Have you uh, added some um, uh, of your colleagues or uh, asked them to join uh, the Microsoft community? What did you do? So you have to write down here in this question, what uh, have uh, you did during this work uh, this year to um, grab and ask uh, your colleagues to uh, join and uh, do for the MRT expert community. Uh, you can share, of course, if you have gained any of your uh, certificates, if you gain any certificates or uh, anything and you shared it to the Microsoft community and ask them to um, uh, take this certificate. So describe uh, uh, in details what uh, uh, did you give back to uh, MRI the expert fund. The last question is uh, saying what are three uh, concrete ways you will engage in your MRE expert community in the next uh, 12 months. So what are your three plans that you are planning to do during the coming uh, 12 months. So this is uh, for all uh, the, the, the things that you have to do for uh, concerning the people who are uh, current MIE experts and they are uh, going to renew their uh, application. And here I sent you a, a form, I sent you a form uh, to in the chat box um to write uh, your um, feedback about the session and here are, are the redeem codes that you are going to uh, use in order to start um, if you haven't started your journey on learn uh, so you have to um, put your redeem um, here in this um, in this to be a part of um, and have account in uh, the alert. They are here in the chat box. Here. All your feedback. I will uh, tell you how to put the redeem code. Um, okay. Uh, how to put your redeem code? If you go to the learn account and click on um, your um, account and uh, click on uh, profile, you will be taken to this page. Click on achievements. Here uh, this uh, and click redeem your code now. You are going to uh, add put the redeem code that I sent you, you uh, in the chat box, the numbers that I uh, sent you to in the chat box and just click uh, redeem. So
So this will add to you in your journey and badges and profits will be added to you. So if you didn't start your journey in uh, um, and you don't have a account on learn, so you have to do this and add your redeem code in order to have badges and uh, profits. Uh, so you have at least in order to apply, you at least have to have uh, or pass two modules uh, in the learn. Okay. Uh, if you want to take any um, courses uh, here um, in the learn, you will find, of course, all uh, the certificates that you have taken before. If you click on the certificates, okay. Um, if you want to take any um, courses, it's allowed. Just click on learn and choose uh, roles and uh, uh, start uh, uh, choosing, uh, choose uh, educator. And you will find all the courses that you can uh, go through and uh, uh, enjoy your uh, learning journey. This is uh, for what I have for you to, for today and I'm ready for any questions, if you have any questions and you want to ask me. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It's okay. okay. I, I, I'm ready for any questions. If you have any questions and you want to ask about anything, uh, I'm ready. After the next, yes. Do you have any questions? No, it's time, but okay. after the next lecture, yes? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you very much, Samar. In continuing, we invite Soher. Thank you very uh, much. Like, thank you. The floor, the floor is uh, for Soher, Martin. Okay. Like Sama, Soher is a Microsoft Innovative Expert, MIE, -E, sorry, Microsoft Training Ambassador for Main Education Platforms and Apps, Smart Learning, and she's principal of Victoria College. Soher, please, you have 30 minutes, Ju. Thanks. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Sohil Zaki Abdel Fattah from uh, uh, Egypt. Um, I'll uh, begin by sharing my screen. Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, please uh, share. Maybe okay. I advise you. Okay. When it's okay. Yes, very good. Okay. I just this here. Uh, this is me. Um, I am uh, Sohil Zaki uh, Abdel Fattah, MIE Fellow and um, MIE Trainer, Class Point Trainer, Edmodo Trainer, and uh, Ambassador for uh, many uh, platforms, uh, educational platforms and apps. Um, I, I'm here today uh, to invite you all as uh, my colleagues and teachers and 
whatever uh, your job, if you are uh, involving in uh, the educational process and you want to develop uh, yourself and uh, um, uh, go into a special and innovative program uh, knowing all over the world um, by Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert. Uh, let's begin our journey and nominate ourselves for the program that allow us all to um, be on the track uh, uh, on uh, earning uh, new tools to develop ourselves and develop the educational process that we uh, are involving in. Uh, at uh, the first, as uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Mah has said, uh, our uh, nomination must be between 15 uh, May and uh, 7th July uh, this year. So the nomination will be closed on 7th uh, July. So we must end our nomination before uh, this time. Uh, the nomination are allowed for all educators, of course, around the world and uh, whoever um, interested and concerned about uh, professional uh, learning uh, and educational development uh, can nominate uh, himself uh, in this uh, program. Uh, I, of course, uh, will share my Sway link and all the links inside it um, at the end of the uh, session. Uh, if you are new um, in this program, you must uh, go to Microsoft Learn and uh, create an account. This is uh, the first step you must uh, do. So if we go to Microsoft Learn, uh, we can easily uh, create an account. Uh, uh, by uh, any email that we have or by our school uh, email as uh, well. Uh, from uh, this uh, account, we uh, can go to our um, uh, um, pay, um, um, profile. Uh, and from profile, uh, we uh, can uh, go to uh, train ourselves, we can uh, uh, get our achievement uh, uh, page and um, also we uh, must uh, know how to go and get our transcript. After we uh, go through many courses, uh, we will have these courses um, uh, description in the transcript tab. This is the transcript. Uh, the transcript will illustrate all um, our learning uh, courses and um, the details and the description of each course. So uh, we must have this description. We can go uh, to uh, print and uh, save this description as a PDF and uh, upload it uh, on a OneDrive folder and save the uh, link. This is, uh, will be a very important link. Also, we can uh, only use this link that uh, appears in the browser from here and uh, just copy it and paste it in our application uh, to be sent it to the uh, judge who will uh, judge our application and um, uh, provide us uh, the uh, the uh, the allowance to go through our program. In our program, we have three stages. Stage one, uh, you will tell about yourself um, and answer uh, some questions about yourself. We will uh, see these questions in a while. The second stage is a scored question um, on uh, the Microsoft tools and how uh, do you use the, these Microsoft tools. And this uh, uh, stage will be corrected automatically and you will be uh, informed by an email if you pass this uh, uh, stage. So uh, it's preferable to begin a nomination early to 
um, be uh, allowed by the school in this stage and go forward for the a long question uh, stage. Uh, the third stage is about long question stage, and we are going to uh, go through these questions uh, right now. Uh, this is the questions of the first stage. You will write, of course, the first name, uh, the last name, the personal email, the school uh, email, the address, the uh, organization address, and so on. You will uh, write all of this information. The current role of you uh, in your organization, you will check all the uh, current roles that uh, um, you uh, have in your school or your organization. Uh, you can choose all of them or some of them. And also you can add, if uh, you want to add any other role, you can uh, click on add and add the other roles that uh, um, you are doing in your organization or your school. Uh, the second um, question here is about uh, if you are a showcase school or incubator school, and this is uh, very important for the uh, newcomers uh, for uh, this program. Uh, you must ask uh, your uh, leader in your school if you are a showcase school, you must click on showcase school and choose uh, your school from uh, the list of the showcase school around the world. And if you uh, are an incubator school, uh, just click on incubator school and choose from the incubator schools list uh, that will be shown to you. If you are neither a showcase school or incubator school, just press on neither. This is the first part. Uh, also, um, you will choose the uh, range of uh, the, the students that uh, you uh, are teaching. Choose all of them or some of them uh, as you want. Uh, you, you're going to, cho to choose also the subjects that uh, you uh, are concerning to teach to your students. And um, if you have an internet in your school and if uh, the students have the access to the internet, uh, if the students uh, have access to the internet at home, you uh, must um, answer all of this question honestly and uh, don't be uh, afraid of any uh, answer. Uh, the technology that your students use uh, for learning, uh, you will check this technology from the list. Uh, then uh, this is the, um, uh, an important one. Uh, it will ask about the URL of your social uh, media uh, accounts like uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and so on. Uh, so if you have any uh, accounts on social media, you can just put URL and uh, uh, this could be um, uh, something the uh, judge will, uh, will check. Uh, so um, I hope all of you uh, share uh, the achievements, the certificates, the development, uh, the professional developments on uh, the accounts, uh, especially on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, uh, Twitter is the best for Microsoft leaders. So uh, there will be a question if you have an account on uh, uh, Twitter, what are the number of you followers? So they uh, follow uh, Twitter hashtags and uh, um, uh, tweets about uh, Microsoft EDU um, uh, and um, detect the activity of each teacher on Twitter especially. Also, um, they will, you will be asked about the devices that uh, you are used. Uh, is it uh, Google Apps, uh, um, Mac, uh, Windows devices, uh, Microsoft uh, Surface, whatever the device you use, you will check it. And also the tools that uh, you are using in uh, your education process. 
Um, this is uh, a wonderful question. Also, if you um, have an educational uh, technology communities that you are involved in, like uh, Adobe Creative Educator, uh, Ponzi Ambassador, Flipgrid uh, Voice Ambassador, um, uh, Kahoot Ambassador, any of these wonderful uh, platforms and communities, you will uh, check on uh, um, the boxes that uh, um, you uh, that uh, um, inform us that you are involving in this community. Uh, this question about um, uh, that you, if you have taken any course uh, or earned any pages and trophies on Microsoft Learn, and it's very important to say yes, of course, because uh, there is uh, no professional development and no innovation uh, innovation uh, for teachers without taking many, many courses on um, uh, this uh, platform, which is uh, learnmicrosoft.com. So you will say, of course, yes. And if yes, you will show the URL of your public profile here. How can we get uh, our URL? We are going to go to our uh, Learn account and press on uh, the icon of our picture here. And from the setting, you can go to the setting to have uh, the uh, username and URL. This is my URL. And so if I just copy, uh, this URL and paste it uh, in uh, my application here. So uh, this question will be done. So from here, you can get uh, your uh, URL. The second part, as we said before, is about the uh, machine learning uh, score the questions. And um, uh, it's concerned about the tools that uh, you are using in uh, uh, your educational process. And uh, the first question about the modules that uh, you have done uh, on uh, Learn. So you can uh, check the number of modules that uh, you have done on uh, Microsoft Learn. Uh, this is about the uh, using of Microsoft Teams, if uh, you use it uh, daily, weekly, monthly, rarely, uh, I never, of course, we, we cannot uh, check on never. Uh, if we uh, want to apply for uh, MIE expert, uh, we, we, we must use Microsoft Teams, uh, maybe monthly at least. And uh, other questions will be asked by the same way about Microsoft Forms, OneNote, uh, uh, Staff Notebook, uh, OneNote uh, Class Notebook, Flipgrid, uh, Minecraft, and uh, the tools of Microsoft. Um, about same uh, resources, some uh, of us, of course, um, follow the, the STEM curriculum. Uh, so uh, they are asking about uh, some programs on Microsoft, like Make Code or Hacking STEM, Microsoft Imagine uh, Academy, if you are using these uh, programs, weekly, monthly, rarely, or never. Uh, this question about the using of PowerPoint, uh, if you use live presentation, uh, recording slideshow, uh, saving PowerPoint, rehearse with coach, uh, you know, uh, PowerPoint uh, is one of the top tools on Microsoft for presentation. So uh, you will check if you uh, use these features in PowerPoint daily, weekly, monthly, rarely, or never, I think we are all use it maybe daily as educator. Uh, so the, uh, sec the next question about Microsoft Edge browser, if you, you uh, use uh, uh, the features like immersive reader, read aloud, uh, extensions, translation, and many other uh, features if you are uh, used it uh, daily, weekly, monthly, or whatever. This question, especially about Flipgrid, and Flipgrid uh, is uh, a wonderful platform that is used to travel with the students and connect globally with the students. Um, 
uh, and it's for free, of course. So uh, the question is asking about if you uh, are one of the Flipgrid members and if you use the Flipgrid the live event uh, in the last uh, six months, uh, write the number of uh, the events that you uh, participated in. Um, also, uh, it asked about the Great Pal and the Great Pal uh, connections are the friends, uh, the global friends of you on the Flipgrid uh, uh, platform. So also uh, uh, the question asked about the number of Flipgrid. Uh, it's also um, this part asked about the immersive reader, which is the, a wonderful tool from the tools of uh, uh, Microsoft. So uh, this question about the immersive reader. Um, the next question about the accessibility checker in tools like PowerPoint, uh, Word, uh, Excel, OneNote, and uh, we all uh, are knowing that accessibility checker is an important uh, uh, tool of features that allow us to check the access of uh, uh, some of our students that uh, maybe suffer from uh, disabilities in some cases. So, so it's very important uh, to be sure that uh, they are all uh, have the access uh, to our uh, resources. Uh, also in hybrid uh, classroom uh, teams, uh, we can use teams in what? This question about teams. Uh, in uh, creating rooms in teams, what uh, is uh, the uh, uh, sequence that uh, we need to create rooms on teams? Um, in uh, a formative assessment to measure students' learning, uh, typically done when what? When what of these uh, choices? Uh, when you create a quiz or a poll in Microsoft Forbes, what questions types do you have? Uh, available, we will check all of them. Uh, you will be asked uh, on uh, OneNote, on uh, uh, Teams, there are a lot of questions on Teams and uh, the features of Teams. Um, then we will move to the long answer stage uh, questions. Uh, these questions uh, are concerning about the project that uh, or the work you have done with your students with these wonderful tools and um, how can you describe the uh, collaboration between you and your colleagues to uh, exchange expertise about these tools so there are uh, some questions that uh, you will need to answer and as uh, Mr. Samah said uh, I also advised you that you prepare all these questions in a, a, a Word file and just copy from the file and paste uh, because there will be a, a, a not no much time to uh, write inside the application. So the first question about to describe uh, how you uh, leverage Microsoft tools to increase accessibility for learners in your school and what tools do you uh, use and how they support different uh, learning needs and one of the uh, important tools that you will uh, have the greatest, uh, you know, score if you write about it is the immersive reader. The immersive reader allows the students of different uh, native uh, language uh, and uh, and uh, maybe uh, disabilities in uh, vision or uh, uh, reading uh, to. Um, access the resources. So one of the important tools that you can write about in this question is the immersive reader, of course. Um, number two, tell us about the series of question or a unit uh, project concern uh, or uh, help the students to earn the skills of 21st century uh, learning design. This is all the important skills for the coming century. And uh, you can, um, uh, right uh, about how uh, uh, you uh, integrated uh, these skills in um, 
um, educational project uh, uh, from your lessons or from your curriculum uh, to allow the students to earn these skills. And uh, uh, here is the, the link of uh, the course of 21st century learning design. You can go and check it before uh, uh, answering this question. As this is very important, question three, uh, in here you will put uh, the uh, uh, link of uh, the documentation of your project with student. You will create a sway maybe, or a link of uh, a OneDrive uh, that allow the judge to uh, be sure that you uh, have done all uh, of these uh, activities and uh, used all of these tools in your educational process. So you will put URL uh, uh, link here and be sure that uh, this link is open for everyone to view, not only uh, for your organization uh, to allow the judge to open the link. The first question uh, to describe uh, the, uh, the result of student learning, what uh, uh, you student learned from uh, uh, this project or uh, this uh, term or uh, this semester uh, while using uh, these wonderful tools and this uh, uh, wonderful skills. Uh, the first question about uh, sharing two examples of how uh, you have supported both uh, your uh, own learning and uh, the learning uh, and growth of your colleagues. How uh, did you uh, exchange expertise with your colleagues? How you gave uh, a train for them? How you helped them to understand a certain tool? How you helped them to apply um, uh, um, a, a certain um, uh, feature in any of these wonderful uh, programs. Uh, all of these questions, the characters uh, must be between uh, 500 characters and 2,000 characters. And remember, this is the number of characters, not the world. So it will be only uh, a few sentences, not a long paragraph. Uh, from here, you can reach all the resources that you are going to need during uh, your nomination process. Uh, you will have uh, all the sources of the courses and of uh, uh, the logging in to uh, nominate uh, yourself. And uh, 21st century learning design course, of course. And at last, this is uh, my uh, redeem code of uh, uh, a trainer code, uh, you can uh, put it in the redeem code uh, um, a box to earn uh, more points um, added uh, to your profile. I'll uh, share this uh, sway uh, with you in uh, the chat. Uh, of course, you must um, make it in one with the link to view, not to edit. This is what you are going to do when you share your sway after creating it and press on share tab. Make sure that the sway is for anyone with the link to edit. Uh, of course, is not uh, to edit, no, it's only to view. And take the link from here and just uh, send it to you. Um, just post it to you uh, on your application. I'll just post it here. In uh, this link, you will find all uh, the steps and all the questions that uh, you are going to prepare and all the links for the courses that you are going to uh, need. And of course, at last you will find uh, my redeem code uh, as a coach. Uh, I hope you are all uh, get the page and uh, uh, be accepted in this wonderful, wonderful uh, program uh, all over the world um, and uh, get the opportunity to develop ourselves uh, through uh, the wonderful uh, education, educational uh, pathway and uh, courses. Uh, I have finished my 
session or my, or my uh, lecture. Uh, if you want to ask anything, I'm ready. Uh, thanks, Soher. It was very good. I appreciate it. Uh, people, any questions for Sama or Soher? Um, Mr. Soher, thank you very much for this very useful session. Thank you, Adieu. Yes, I, uh, yes, I have a question because um, I just um, renewed my application uh, early this week and um, I don't know what happened, but I click renewed. Uh, I was just directed to long questions. Yes, this is true. Uh, if you are just renewing a new application, you will be directed only on uh, to uh, a long question the stage that uh, are uh, asking about what uh, you did the, the last year and how uh, you um, uh, be useful for all your students and uh, your colleagues and um, asking about if you um, uh, involved in uh, some conferences or um, um uh, uh, training sessions or workshops with your yeah, colleagues the questions, the questions, are, just, are, the questions are different right what the long questions are different from the one that you showed right yes uh, the, the the renewing process um is the shown by mr mah at uh, the first part of the session mm, okay okay thank you thank you Thank you. Anyone? Any other question, Jill? Uh, Is there any okay. question in the chat? No, no, so uh, okay. People ask links, but uh, it, uh, it's here. And it's test. Congratulations, Mr. Soher. Great Thank presentation. You. And Sama, too. Uh, first, final considerations. We invite our chairman, Mr. Dean, please. Thanks. Thanks very much, Soher. Thank you, dear. Dean, our chairman, GEN founder and organizer, Mr. Dean. Oh, thank you, our uh, honorable moderator, our uh, successful and very interactive moderator. And uh, I want to uh, please our uh, to session trainer, uh, respectively, global executive leader, Zaki Abdel Parta, and our another guest trainer, Kama Mir from uh, Egypt, and our honorable to the speaker. Aruni Tony from our country coordinator of Taiwan. And today uh, we have seen there uh, our another global office executive, Juan San Martin from Spain, uh, already sent our attendance link uh, for certificate. Please, dear all of uh, educator, all of attendance, please fill this forum uh, if, uh, for this certificate. Uh, and this session was very successful session. We know uh, more things about nomination process of MI expert. We know that Microsoft education is a very important area of all of educators, uh, all of the world. And so thanks to all. And just I have request, uh, dear moderator, uh, some of 
educator raises hand uh, you can ask uh, them for question okay and thanks to all uh, we uh, can conclude or we can uh, end our session just uh, i have request to uh, take question from rajesh hand zules pai ss and sumaiya kamal dear moderator please Okay, thanks Dean, thanks for all. Uh, I hope to meet you so soon. Bye people. Ulas Files, Ulas Files uh, from Senegal, our country coordinator is your hand. Dear Zulis, please you can ask question. She the links yes. Hello, Zulis Pai. Sumaya Kamal, Sumaya Kamal. Uh, there is this. Uh, thank you very much for a wonderful workshop. Uh, it is really helpful. It will help us to pass our knowledge in a modified way. I hope to. Uh, receive such type of knowledge in the future on a frequent thank you very much everyone thank you very much thank, thank you sumaya kamal okay uh, just uh, can i stop now and meeting as host dear all or dear our today's uh to session trainer can i stop now please dear moderator okay bye bye thanks to all thank you all and goodbye okay Dear Nigat ma'am, have you any question? Good evening and good morning to everyone. Uh, though I joined it late, but 